do you think is the biggest reason why the Cowboys lost the Eagles? Dak Prescott today, oh. yesterday, next week, next month. That's what I would like to wait to hear for. And Skip, you know it. And here's, a, here's something real right off the bat. You could talk about he didn't get a touchdown, whatever. The difference between last year and this year, you ready? Last year, the Cowboys gave up 52 sacks against Dak at this point a year ago. This year, 32 what? less. Mm. 32 less, only 20. Mm. So you can't tell me that Dak Prescott, oh, he's hurried. Uh, the, the, the offensive line is bad. <laughs> 32 less sacks, and this guy can't beat a, a, a team over 500. Mm. Piles up the stats against bad teams, and that game was on a silver platter. Mm. The Eagles have, have struggled just to win the two games they did before against bad teams, but they got it done. Yep. Wins in a lifetime. They go in. Wins in a lifetime? Wins in a lifetime, got it done. That's the talent. You got you to gotta give them credit, Skip, in that game. And the Cowboys don't even get a touchdown. Not even He's throwing game. to guys who were, who were quarterbacks in college. Greg Ward Jr. Yes, mm. all of his receivers are banged up, battered, mm. and yet they get it done. He throws for over 300 yards. Was Dallas There's, Goddard hurt? I don't remember. Help me out. No, no, he caught over 100 yards worth of balls. He's really good. No, he Go only caught 90. Yeah. That, <laughs> that, that was yeah. But the bottom line is, in that game, they needed to, and I don't want to hear about the injury. If you hurt Shannon, get on the sideline. Thank you. You know why? Because had they won the game, Skip would be banging his chest talking about, what a warrior. Yeah. He had a bad wing, and he went out there. Not chicken wing. Mm -hmm. He had a bad wing, and he still went out there and willed the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. That game was still in reach. It was only a touchdown, mm -hmm. basically. And he still couldn't throw when he had guys wide open. Overthrew was at Austin. Tavon Austin. Yes. Mm. Yep. Mm. Overshot Amari Cooper. Mm. He threw into the end zone to tie the game at the end of the game. It was a pretty good throw. Yeah. The more I look out, I just saw it again the other, a couple of minutes ago. Hit him right there. Skip, there are drops. You got to go snatch it. There was... If it's Michael Thomas, does he catch that ball? But nope. it's Michael Gallup, and he doesn't. Whatever. Catch. There are drops all over the NFL every game, so you can't use Six that. Six drops. There were more game. opportunities to still overthrow. win that yeah. game. Yes. And 10, ten bad throws. Ten overthrows? Ten bad this throws. season was about the Cowboys going to the Super Bowl, mm. especially after they signed uh, Zeke. Ezekiel right before the season. Oh, they got their guy. Wait, you mean Here they, it is. when they overpaid him? No, but they, they signed guaranteed. him. They brought him in. And what was everybody talking about? The Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl. Mm. Cowboys and Browns in the same situation. Before the season started, mm -hmm. I picked neither of them to, to make it to the playoffs. You're a genius. And the, and the reason why <laughs> was because I didn't buy into that guy, mm. Dak Prescott. Mm. Jen, answer me that question again. Because, you know. Rob was doing so well, I, I forgot. What, what, what was it? <laughs> Biggest reason that the Cowboys lost to the Eagles. Oh, walking to him, I played that. Mm. It's oh. simple. He's down his top three receiver. Mm. Alshon, Nelson Aguilar. Did it, Skip? Greg Ward is way better than Well, stop it, stop it. He just stop. is. Hold on. He's did, really good. Did, hold on. Did Lane Johnson play? Mm. So, my guy, who walking to him went with 31 or 40, mm. throwing to a guy. Did you know the Eagles had cut Greg Ward Jr.? They cut him. Like, we, we got to kept him on their practice Whoa! squad. Hold on. If you cut somebody, you know, you have to go to waivers. Yeah. So anybody could have signed him. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted him. They could have snatched him up. And even if you are on the practice squad, somebody can sign you off the practice squad. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted him. He was really good. No, 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 no. Well, he well, was. Well, he was the quarterback. Mm -hmm. So he, I know. He was both. No, no, no. He was both. He was really good. <laughs> Don't do this, Kim. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, I watched him. Uh, hold on. Love him. Hold on. So Wentz you, loves him. Hold on. So you, so you like college quarterbacks that transfer to receivers, mm -hmm. huh? Well, like Edelman? Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? So I want to about? hear nothing about Jacoby Myers. Jacoby Myers. Oh! Is, is, he, he's half of what Greg Ward did. Don't do that, Skip. Don't half. do that. He <laughs> can't separate. He has to get Skip. Walk it to him. Carson Wentz put this team on his back. With all those injuries, there are no excuses. Pro football focus graded mm -hmm. Zeke higher this year than last year. Mm -hmm. He says the offensive line is the fourth best run blocking offensive mm -hmm. line in football. They say the Cowboys have the one of the, they have the talent has the best uh, one, one of the top three offenses in football. Mm -hmm. And so when it came to rubber needed to meet the road, mm -hmm. we got a guy that three top receivers done. Lane Johnson, who's going to the Pro Bowl again, I might add, is out. Mm -hmm. And he said, don't worry about it. Get on my back, and I'm going to bring us home. Mm -hmm. That's what that guy did. Mm -hmm. No excuses, Skip Bayless. Mm -hmm. So here's what really happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally discounted us, Shannon. Biggest picture, there's this team up in Green Bay, and everybody keeps saying, 
How do they win games? Because it's almost inexplicable. You keep looking at it. Aaron Rodgers is in decline. He's now a game manager. He's going along for a great ride. Well, it's the truth. It I can show you. The, the other night, he, he was um, – which game was it? I, what, Against what Minnesota. Minnesota, yeah. Minnesota, Minnesota Sunday night. Monday night. He was two for 11 on passes of 10 or more yards because he just doesn't throw it downfield. He manages the game, and he does a great job of it. But you look, you sit back watching the Packers, you say, how did they do that? How exactly did they win that game? And they're 12-3. and three. And you look at Dallas and you say, how do they keep losing games? Because they're so talented they're and their stats, are, their offensive stats are sensational. The quarterback is top five in QBR. He's now fifth in QBR. The running back has plummeted down to fourth in the league in rushing. Fourth in the league. Plummeted. Plummeted, plummeted, yeah. plummeted to fourth. He's in the you top You gave five. him the all-time record for a running back. You gave him $50 million guaranteed dollars. And half the time this year, he looks like he's running in Cabo Sands. <laughs> sure. and, and he looked like it's Sunday, except for a burst in the third quarter. And if you want to know exactly what happened in this game, obviously from the opening kickoff, the Eagles were far readier to play than the Cowboys were. That starts with the defense, not with Dak Prescott. Huh? The defense. What happened? Walk it to him, who's usually bounce it to him, who was <laughs> horrendous against the Giants until overtime. And he was horrendous against the Redskins, Redskins at Washington. But, but he threw a touchdown in the, in the last two minutes, to, right? He was 11 okay. for 11 in the yes. fourth quarter against with two, two dog teams, two, two bottom-of-the-barrel teams. He got hot late and pulled it out of the fire. Yeah. Way to go. After he fumbled right on cue against Washington mid-fourth quarter, he fumbled. It looked like they'd lost the game again because he fumbles more than, it. what is it, 47 straight 47. games yep. he had fumbled in, and he fumbled right, right on time. Yeah, 47, 47 times, times in his career. Yeah, 47 times. And this, this fourth quarter against Dallas, he fumbled, and it's we one of it. those good luck games, bounces right back under yep. him, and he falls on so guess Way what? to go. You know what he did? He beat three dog teams in the NFC East. Mm. He beat Washington, he yeah. beat the Jazz, and he beat the Cowboys. That's another dog team. So, and it's funny because when the Cowboys started the season, they beat three dog teams. And, and, you, and, and you, the Dolphins, right, the Redskins, and the Giants. Yes! Didn't they beat them? Those were dog teams, Skip. So my defense came out flat and defense. lifeless as usual, but here came my quarterback playing with a fractured index finger Don't do that, Skip. and a banged-up <laughs> shoulder that required him to take a cortisone shot and pain-killing injections before the game and during halftime. No, in his shoulder. Oh and he couldn't even practice last week for the biggest game of the year. But the turning point came early in the third quarter. They took the opening kickoff of the second half, and they go boom, boom, boom down the field, mostly because of the $50 million running back. Yeah, exactly. And it gets to be second and two at the 26, Rob Parker. And what happened? <gasps> I'm, not, I'm not in shape. I got, no, no, I, that's you good. Take me out. And they have to throw the rookie in there for two, the two critical plays. They're about to go score a touchdown to take a 13 to 10 lead. And that was the end of the Cowboys as I knew and used to love them because they all look at their $50 million back. He can't stay Rob, in to close Rob, can it out. Rob, can I ask you a question, Rob? Let's just wow. say, Rob, you the backup. You know, you're going to come in now. You're supposed to be filling in. You got a couple of segments here and there. Mm -hmm. I get sick. They say, Rob, you got to go fill in for Shannon. Are you going to get back like, Bob? I'll jump uh, right in that chair. Exactly. Yeah. So that was Tony Pollard. Yeah. Skip, how about this here? So you know who would have usually carried the ball in that situation? The quarterback. But he couldn't carry Why? it because he's banged up. Ain't nothing wrong with it. And yeah. Skip, your idea that you're blaming the defense to give up 17 points 17? On, the on the road. They're on the no road. Good. That's no good, good enough to win. They're no good. They don't score on the Eagles. That's they not they good enough to win. They scoring on the Giants the and the Eagles Redskins. Scored. Okay, the Eagles scored, had three drives. Uh, they scored 14 points. Uh, and guess what the Cowboys offense did after each of those drives? Uh, three and out. Oh, all on. three times. Carson, Carson Wentz had a QBR of 60. That scale is 0 to 100. He tell, was barely above average tell in this Rob, game. Tell Rob he Dax, was average. Tell, Dax, tell, tell Rob that yeah. QBR. What was it? 35. <laughs> Oh. Wow. Yeah. Oh, is, that, is, that, that is that better and, or worse and in than his last one? two last ditch drives? Amari Cooper and Randall Cobb often were not in the game. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Well, Dak wasn't up. in the game. Did yeah. you see the way he was yeah. playing? Yeah. I couldn't tell he was Boy, in the game. I, I saw him throw three Great rockets stuff, to Randall guys. Cobb. Very spirited <laughs> as always. Yeah. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.